What's up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. 2020 Contenders Draft Picks Football 3 Box Pick Your Team Number 4 just sold out. Um, and again, chance to get the Bengals and Joe Burrow by buying a team in this break. Uh, I'm not sure if we have any more Pick Your Teams for this, but we do have a random pack break. Uh, we might post up another Pick Your Team. Who knows? <clears throat> uh, we have personal c Shep, and it looks like we have pack breaks of Contenders. We may be posting up more. I don't know, but we have at least a pack break there. In a one box break that you can do as well. So here you go, guys. I copied and pasted the names. And customer number one gets the Bengals after two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. David Baker, congratulations, man. You just won the Bengals. Yeah, I'm doing containers. Wow, what's up? Oh yeah, what is it? Where is it at? Okay, when I see it, I'll print it out right now. Yeah, no worries. I don't know if you heard me though, but Derek wants big, big packs again. Five hundred dollar ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got. You want a five hundred dollar pack, Derek? But you want fifty cards in there? Ten dollars each a pack. Ten dollars each a card. I don't make your money back. I don't know if we have any more bigger packs, at least for this week. But maybe, maybe next week. All right, here you go, guys. Good luck. Last three boxes of the case. Yeah. Oh, so there you go, C Ship. I don't know if you heard me, but like, so we'll have more of this tomorrow. So maybe we'll have another picker team. I think the random packs is already up there, right? Yeah, the random packs is up there. Yes, Wester, I want to get you. I want to get you that too. Uh, let's see what we can get, man. Good luck. As long as you don't get randomized number one. <laughs> I know the last one. I know, man. It's rough. But again, man, I, for those $500 packs, last place was not bad. <laughs> Rico? Uh, no, the Kobe went third, I think. I think, uh, I think Derek got one when we went last, and he was, a he got a Trey Young PSA 10 Prism, which, I mean, it's a good investment. Yeah. <sighs> but I feel you, though. You know you want to get that jaw that was $1,000. <laughs> I think everybody did. You know, it's so funny, because I don't even think Kenny was watching when he got that jaw. All right, let's go by the contenders draft picks uh, checklist on Group A checklist, uh, and this is uh, Rico. Oh yeah, this, the Steph Curry one was pretty nice. I forgot about that one. Rico is Cowboys. Why do I feel like the Cowboys just have all these Ricos and tacos and stuff like that? Uh, yes, Douglas. It sold out, so yes, it will be breaking soon. Uh, it's probably the next break after this. I just got to go through orders. We got to do the two quick pack breaks. But other than that, it should be breaking today. <clears throat> Henry Ruggs. Oh. Ooh. Cracked ice. Game day tickets. 11 out of 23. We got a Jacob Eason coming up. There you go. Where did Jacob Eason go again? Let's see. Jacob. Colts. There you go. Derek, you got yourself a Colts hit. You would. <laughs> Better than nothing, Derek. We're warming up, man. Maybe you're going to get that Jonathan Taylor next. 
He is on card though, so not bad. We're warming up, Derek. We're warming up. Alright. That was a little heat check right there for you. Now that the the light has ignited, more Colts will be coming. Brian Edwards. I know, man. But what about Andrew Luck behind that Colts line? Damn! What could have been? It's like now they get him a line. Raiders for Brian Edwards. <laughs> I'm just playing Derek. <laughs> it's alright, you guys. You, you got a future Hall of Famer. John Hightower. That's an Eagles pick right there. John Hightower, a wide receiver from Boise State. Drafted in the fifth round. What is this guy's stats right here? Let's see if they have stats back here. 52, 51 receptions for 950 yards. Average 18.5 yards a catch. Eight touchdowns. Not bad. Eagles. Going to Matthew. Marlon Davidson, and that's a three out of five. I don't know what the variation of this is called, but it looks pretty cool. Three out of five, Marlon Davidson from Auburn. Is that what they're called? Yeah. This is Falcons and a second round pick, Marlon Davidson. So they go Falcons going to Gens. This one looks like it's kind of like. It has a. Yeah. Like if you were looking something to get you hypnotized. Alright, there you go. Second round pick there. Three out of five. You can tell Joe to give you a train whistle tomorrow. Nate Stanley's gonna take the job from the Cousins? That'd be hilarious. Did you guys see the Forbes top one top top ten uh, most paid player most paid athletes? What's that? Yeah, and Carson Wentz is in the top ten. What? Yeah. For highest paid athletes. Yeah. Yeah. No. He's top ten. He's number ten. You know who's number eight? nine? Is Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Look it up. That's with endorsements. Dude's making a cool 60 mil a year. Are you sure? Yeah, look, it just came That's out. Crazy. I know. I, look. I thought there was no football players in the top. Yeah, there's a couple of them. The, Bills. I know. Carson's just living his life in North Dakota, paying like. He just paying, <laughs> paying nothing in rent, <laughs> just a mortgage, you just 60000 for like a couple acres probably.
All right, next one. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't fought in a year, so or like less than he's only fought once in a year, right? Yeah, so I mean, he got paid for sure that one year. He's in the top five, I think. But yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty crazy. I know, right? Yeah, number one's Roger Federer. Oh, I can't even get to the website. Cristiano Ronaldo, number two. Lionel Messi, number three. Neymar, four. LeBron, five. Steph Curry, six. Kevin Durant, seven. Tiger Woods, eight. And then you look at, like, Roger Federer's salary is, like, two mil. <laughs> and then it's, like, his endorsements is everything. Yeah, same thing like Tiger. Well, like, who pays him his salary? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, Tiger. Fe uh, I mean, Tiger Federer. <laughs> uh, Roger Federer is like, for his age to do what he does is pretty crazy. And Tiger too. Yeah. KJ Hill. Yeah, there's no baseball players in any, like, top 50, huh? Who, who's, who's at 57? Probably, like, Mike Trout? You would think Mike Trout would be up there because his contract is a 300 mil, but I guess it is for, like, what, seven years or something? KJ Hill's Chargers. Oh, is it Kershaw? Damn. Well, you know what? His, his contract was pretty big for the short amount of time. That's true. They do. They they do. And, and I remember Commissioner when Manfred came out and said that it, it's it's Mike Trout's fault that he should be out there more. It's like, what? Like, it's true. I mean, Mike Trout's a superstar and he's hardly doing anything when it comes to like MLB, right? For marketing. Obviously, in the card world, he's like he's definitely number one when it comes to modern, for sure. I mean, nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand for for uh, for that. But I just feel like Mike Trout is a chill guy. Honestly, I feel like if you like to hang out with him, I feel like he's so chill. He's not all about you know doing this, doing that. He's really just about you know hanging out with his family and friends and you know, just really chilling. Yeah, that's true. Aaron Fuller. Yeah, Aaron Otto's definitely like top five maybe, right? Kyle Lowry. Uh, well, that makes sense. He's probably made a lot of money since last year's championship or two years ago's championship, whatever it was. Blake Griffin. He did do a lot of commercials and still does. So he probably still gets paid a lot for, for marketing and stuff like that for advertisements. And I think his contract is still pretty big. Aaron Fuller. That's Seahawks. Yeah. Remember, that's just for this past year, though. So, or 2020, whatever it is. So, it's going to change again. So, he's probably living off a lot of uh, advertising in Toronto. Oh, man, dude. If Zion... Look at the... <laughs> I know, that's the one thing, Adam. If Zion were to become what we think he will be, and he can be... <clears throat> In like four years, when his rookie contract is up, <laughs> oh my God, his contract is gonna be the monstrous one. He's also gonna get crazy endorsement money. He'll be in the, like the top fifteen or twenty. Keyshawn Vaughn, easily. No, because Adam Kelly is saying that Zion's nineteen years old and he's tied with Kershaw in, in um, Forbes list. And he's only nineteen, and it's all endorsements. Oh, that's true, right? Okay, because baseball players haven't gotten paid yet. Okay, that makes sense. Cause I'm like, why wouldn't Mike Trout be like in the top like 15? Yeah. Cause I remember when like 
Um, Kevin Durant, like he had like a $30 million a year shoe endorsement plus his $30 million contract. And that's just shoe deal. Obviously, he still has like any other marketing that he does in the endorsements. Just imagine that, guys. You can make just as much money in endorsements than you do in your professional like sport. It's crazy. It's like why Kevin Durant should even play basketball. <laughs> he could just make just as much doing shoes. Gidry. I know. You know, honestly, guys, when I used to play baseball in high school, you know what cleats I really I bought, actually, and I used to continue to buy them? I used to buy Pudge's cleats from Under Armour, I believe it was. Pudge's cleats were awesome. They were really good. I don't know if you guys ever bought the Yvonne Rodriguez and played baseball, but those ones were pretty cool. Cowboys with this one. Oh, Tyson Fury is awesome, man. Tyson, this... I was in Vegas for that weekend when he beat... When he beat uh, Wilder, number two, the second fight, it was crazy. <laughs> I know, I didn't wear them in school, but <laughs> that's true. See, that's the one thing with basketball, it's just so fashionable now. You can wear basketball shoes as fashion, you know. My favorite Jordans are Jordan 11s. Those are the only Jordans I ever buy. I love Jordan 11s. Low top, high top, Concords. I got my 72 and 10s at home that I hardly ever wear, but I have them. Oh, were they Reebok? Yeah, whatever ones they were. I had them in high school. Tommy Stevens. And then honestly, in basketball, I wore Kevin Durant's when I played basketball, and I wore some Kobe's. Like Kobe 3's or 4's. I know, but I'm saying there probably won't be games. I, I agree. Not with fans. But that's cool. Tommy Stevens is I have True. That is true. You're right, Adam. Yeah. I think, I think for sure golf. Because everybody can use that. And I feel like a lot of people will golf. That's one thing I've been wanting to do. I've, I've been wanting to golf. Ooh, T Max. I remember those. What about what about what about Starberries? Fifteen bucks. I had those. You guys remember that Starberries? Fifteen dollars. That changed the game right there. Woo. Right, Nick. T uh, Starberries. Clutch. <laughs> that was awesome. He like he like freaking um. He like sold out Jordan, same material and everything for just fifteen bucks. All right, there you go. You know which ones are really good too, guys? Let's see if you guys remember these. I mean, I'm young, so I'm probably way younger than you guys, but I even had some, um, I had some Allen Iversons when I was younger. And I think they were like the threes. They were black with a little like purple, a little red, but barely anything. They were just so awesome. Those Allen Iversons, I used to love them. Michael Pittman. And school colors, Jalen Rigor. Yeah. And it's a little cracked ice. Four out of 23 for my Eagles. My sister used to work at this one hip-hop store, like hip-hop rap store, where they used to sell like apple-bottom jeans and, 
you know, G-Net clothes and stuff like that at, at the Montebello Mall in our area. And, um, and uh, <laughs> I remember I had some ice creams. I don't know if you remember those. Those are pretty funny. I had, like, the Games Hurricane shoes. Those are pretty cool. If we're talking fashion. Remember Pharrell used to rap about ice creams? And the boots with fur, that's right. You never had the ice creams, Derek? I know, those are really out there. I'm not going to lie, I didn't wear them much, but I had them. My sister used to get like an employee discount, so they're really cheap. Uh, bowl ticket to 99, Dalton Keen. Patriots. I'm trying to think of other shoes that I had of other players. But those Allen Iverson by far are my favorite ones too. Yeah, you had the boo boo dada stuff like that. Damn. I used to have one of those spinner G unit spinners. I remember I got that. I don't remember where I got that, but that was pretty funny. Which ones? I don't know. Do you remember the silly band, rubber band thing? What is that? No. Maybe that. Maybe that's. Well, what is it though? Maybe I do remember. It's like rubber band shaped like animals. Uh, no, I don't think I remember that. Antonio Gandhi Golden? Maybe it didn't hit Maybe not. I don't know. It probably was there. I don't know. This was a toy? Oh. Uh, no, I don't remember. Huh? Yeah, I remember those, yeah. Oh, something like that? Oh. I used to wear the... The ones from like, uh, what are those other stores? He, t uh, Tills or Tillies? The, 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 the heart boobies. <laughs> like for breast cancer. <laughs> those was, I used to wear those. Redskins. Where'd she go? <laughs> I was like, unless she's leaving me here. Unless she's leaving me here. Alright. <laughs> Gidry, I believe this is another one here. This is another cowboy, I believe. Yeah, and they're like, you know what people are looting Hot Topic. <laughs> Dude, I love the one guy with the shoes, remember? With his sandals? That was so funny. I can't stop laughing, man. Light up shoes back? Yeah, that'd be awesome. You guys remember uh, Heelys? Yeah, those shoes are fire. I used to have to take them off during school though because they'd take them away from me. Heelys? I used to try to find them for adults. I used to have those back in the day. Eight? Yeah, dude, Heelys were awesome. <laughs> My cousin was like a pro. I was going backwards and shit. It's crazy. Anthony Gordon cracked ice. That's pretty cool. Where did Anthony Gordon get drafted to? Dude, Achilles were dangerous and they were also like 20 pounds a pair. <laughs> they were so heavy. 
I think I cried for my parents to get me one. I never had any Pokemon again. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live it now. Seahawks. Do they still make them, Chad? Do they make Heelys for adults? I'm, I'm down to get yes. more of those <laughs> if they do. I don't know, maybe you would fall, Nick. They don't want you to get injured. Maybe I won't be here today. I have a video injury. Yeah, that's true. I, I couldn't skateboard. I could only rollerblade. Skateboarding, I can never do. And Derek Brown. Oh, I gotta look into this, Chad. That'd be awesome. Get some Heelys as an adult now. They used to sell them for adults too, but... I know they stopped making some after a while. Panthers with this one. Heelys are awesome, though. They, they were so cool when I was a kid. I had them in middle school. But I had to take off the wheels during middle school, because if not, if you were like seen with them, they'd take away your heels. Yeah, first round pick, right? Alrighty, guys, and there you go. Another Joe Burrow there. That was the break. So I'm going to randomize left or right to see which customers get some of those uh, duels. Ooh, nice. That's awesome, Chad. Alright, so let's switch scenes. Let's randomize left or right. <clears throat> Dude, some of them are. I seen a freaking Joker guy walking around online somewhere. I was like, God damn the joke! You see the one where it's like, man, these looting summoned Batman. <laughs> it was the guy dressed in a Batman suit. <laughs> it was so funny. He was like walking in like tear gas airs. I don't even know what it was. It was crazy. All right, eight, one, two, three, four, five. I know for real. <laughs> Six, seven, and eight. Alright, it's gonna go to the right side after eight times. So there you go, guys. Contenders draft picks, Pikachu number four, three box break is in the books. Uh, we might have some more of these tomorrow, maybe five, six, seven, and eight. So stick, uh, check up on the website, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.